G'day mates, uh, I'm going to show you how to remove this inner cooler on the Mitsubishi Delica and I'm going to clean out the cores inside of the <clears throat> inner cooler because as you can see with most turbo vehicles there's always a bit of oil residue and that's a bit of a leak that's a uh, temperature um, switch so when your intercooler becomes hot enough I'm not unsure of the uh, <clears throat> temperature but when you're sitting in traffic it'll turn this fan on to cool the intercooler because there's no air passing across the intercooler so or if you're doing like a steep hill and you're driving slow but uh, the temperature's coming up you're heating this air which is not good you want to cool it so as you can see there's a lot of oil there from that leak which I'll fix that leak but also this is going to be gumming up the uh, inside of these cores here where well, you got their uh, intake and outlet down to the engine this is from the turbo see the turbo you turbo so the air is coming in here air filter down here into the intake side of the turbo turbine uh, the um, compressor wheel and it's going to pressurize the air and when you pressurize the air it gets hot so that's why we have a totally sick inner cooler turbo you and the hot air is going to come in here and just like your radiator on your car which is this thing which cools the uh, coolant of the engine we're going to cool the air of the um, air intake that's going into the engine like if you're going to breathe in in a sauna it's like you're breathing in in a sauna when it's really hot so this is taking the temperature down so it's like you're breathing in regular room temperature maybe oh, I don't know what the temp get down to but um, you know a cooler let's say you walk into a sauna and it's off it's going to be pretty cool versus it being hot so it's going to cool them down and the air goes in through here and then it's split into these cores see these cores they're not that wide because it's a factory intercooler the big fully sick ones have quite thick cores here and that's going to transfer the heat through the air into this aluminum aluminium <laughs> and uh, into these cooling fins here and the air is going to pass through and take that heat away and then out here you're going to have a lot less um, temperature than it in here so it's in straight into your engine and it's going to run better because uh, the cooler the air the dense the part the air is and there's more particles of fuel to attach to all the particles of the um, air so we love it so I'm just going to take this bolt this bolt no, that one. <laughs> this one, this one off. These two hose clamps here. And we've got on my one, that's the plug for the fan. And then this is the plug which I've just repaired, which just came apart then, <laughs> um, for my temp sensor. So I'm just going to remove that. And then I'll uh, show you guys how I'm going to clean it. Okay, mate, so I've uh, taken this bolt, this bolt, this bolt, this bolt off, and these, um, this wiring, you just, these are just the push fit, uh, where is it, yeah, you just push it there and then pull it apart, and these are bullet terminals, which is uh, not standard, but it was the way when I got it, and then you've got your two hose clamps, which I've already done, it's hard to undo this kind of stuff with one hand, so don't have a head mount for my camera yet so this is from the turbo and I've actually cleaned this about two months ago as you can see not much oil at all but I didn't clean the intercooler check that out so there's quite a bit of build up in there and what's that, what that is going to do is inhibit the exchange of temperature the um, it's going to um, it's going to block the exchange um, it's kind of like an insulator the oil will be a bit of an insulator so you you want the air contacting that uh, aluminium 
uh, just air to aluminium, not air to oil then aluminium. So it's going to help a lot <clears throat> uh, with the cooling and it's only going to be better. So I'll, uh, I'll pull it out and um, get it off and then we'll clean it. That's a bit heavy. Fully sick in a cooler, mate. Yep. Okay, so I've got my intercooler and what I want to do is chuck some uh, degreaser in there with a bit of water. Um, I would like to fill it all with degreaser and then squash it around back and forth, but I'm not going to use that much degreaser. I usually use the water soluble stuff from uh, Super Cheap or whatever, the $2 export one, but I don't have it. I've got this one. It's a little bit caustic, I think, <laughs> this one. Um, but I'm going to chuck, just chuck a bit in this and then whack a bit of uh, water in there and swash it around and I'll get all the oil out. Yeah, mate. And this is very scientific uh, amount. Yeah, that's good. And uh, whack a bit of water in. Whack a bit of water in. Just to give it a bit of uh, uh, more volume. And then uh, I'll swash it through and you'll see what comes out. Fuck. Alright, top tip for the, those playing at home who want to be really scientific. Uh, when degreasing aluminium, aluminium, alloy or motorbikes, degreaser must be diluted. One part degrees it to two parts water so just a, th a third one third to two thirds water um, so I better put a little bit more water in because when I press pause I put more degreaser in <laughs> so um, I'll try and mount this camera somewhere so you can show me so I can show you what the hell I'm doing um, so basically I'm just going to block the hole with my hand you should have gloves on and I will put them on probably and swash it back and forth and just get that uh, liquid moving in there to dislodge the uh, build up of engine oil mate Wow I mounted it hang on so basically I'll get this out of the road so when I've got two hands on it, I'm going to swash it back and forth like this, let it go up and down these cores and then in reality you should block both of these, oh, you can't even see it, hang on, you should block, block both of these, you can put a hose in between and then shake it back and forth just to make sure it goes through all of these cores like that and then you will see the <clears throat> oil come out okay so the moment of truth as you can see <laughs> there's a lot of oily water there so I'm going to repeat rinse and repeat and uh, she'll be apples <clears throat> okay I've mounted the camera finally and uh, basically just pointing the intercooler up a little bit and going left to right, left to right. Now I know why people use GoPros because they've got a wider angle lens. Oh, look at those cores, wow. I've got the plug in the drain so this stuff is not gonna go down the sink. And I'll decanter it and get rid of it in an environmentally friendly way. But check it out, mate, check it out. And this is the second rinse, actually. So you can imagine how many times this needs to be done to get it fully clean. This is, uh, what is it, 1992 model. So it's had it in there for that long. I don't think anyone else has cleaned this. Uh, the phone's mounted on the tap, so when I turn the tap on, the phone, Oops. Uh, I'll just pause it here because you know what I'm doing now. Alright now, so this is the third rinse and as you can see, 
it's still dirty, but that's a lot less. It's a lot less, so I'm gonna flush it with water now and uh, she'll be apples. I say that a lot, don't I? So uh, this is the fourth or fifth flush. Check that out. Pretty good. So we're ready to drain her out and <clears throat> make everything fall off the bench. Uh, Jesus Christ, bird. Fucking hell. Um, so drain it out and don't be worried about a little bit of water going in your intake. <clears throat> Older hot rodders actually have water injection in there. V8s and stuff to cool the intake and it actually cleans carbon off the uh, the parts of the engine in the combustion chamber so don't don't worry about that and uh, this this applies to all intercoolers just be wary of the uh, the chemicals we're using to clean because it can eat away at your aluminium aluminum and I forgot to say, I ended up using hot water with the flush. And I would have used hot water as well with the degreaser. Um, purely because it breaks away better, the, the oil. Oh, I'll chuck it back on. <clears throat> so I'm just um, fitting this into cooler back on. I just want to make sure that you know that <clears throat> if you do use that degreaser, just flush it out a lot with water. Because you don't want any residue slowly eating away here in a cooler and then having a leak so now i'm gonna uh unbolt this puppy the uh, temp sensor and just replace that gasket that'll just be a bit of gasket make a gasket uh goo or if it's got a gasket i'll just cut a new gasket so uh, there you have it um this can apply to uh any car really but is the leaker specific today uh, that's what I own, and uh, there's a lot of people getting delicas for van life and, and stuff because rent is hectic, and now coronavirus is smashing us. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you want to keep up to date with all my videos, this is my second one. I decided to start making videos yesterday because um, I'm in lockdown. Uh, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. and do what everyone asks you to do. Live it and love it. Yeah, mate.